Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making some cheesy scalloped potatoes. I love all things potatoes and cheese. So this is a win-win in my book and Jimmy loves them too. Now the first thing that I'm starting with is my potatoes. You can use whatever potato that you like, what you have, use. If you're gonna buy some potatoes, then I suggest buying these golden potatoes. They are buttery and delicious and they're perfect for dishes like these. Now I have my mandolin because for me, it's easy. And I'm cutting these, gosh, not even, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. These are really thin. You can do it with a knife, but if you have a mandolin, then it really makes for an easy dish. One of my favorite things about these potatoes is I can make as much as I want. I can make a big nine by 13 inch dish, or I can just create a single serving. I do this a lot when I just want something simple and quick, and I don't want a lot of leftovers. But today, I'm gonna make a small casserole. And y'all, there's no roux in this recipe. This is simply layering ingredients. That's it. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Now, I am using heavy cream. If you're gonna make scalloped potatoes, then you might as well just go ahead and use the heavy cream. It's so good. And I'm just basically adding enough cream to coat the bottom of my dish. And like I said, you're gonna do this no matter what size dish that you use. Now, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of salt at the bottom and I'm gonna start layering these potatoes. I just want a nice thin layer all over the bottom, just like this. Some of this sharp cheddar cheese, you can use whatever cheese you like. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like, use, and whatever seasonings you like. If you wanna add garlic or some rosemary, then by all means, do that. Now I've got my cream, my potatoes, and my cheese. So now I'm going to do a repeat and I'm just gonna drizzle this cream right on top. You're not gonna wanna make it swim in cream, but just that light little layer. And again, here we go with our potatoes. And we're gonna continue to layer this much like you would a lasagna. There we go. In goes just a little bit more salt. Potatoes need salt. They don't have a lot of flavor on their own. So make sure with every layer you add just a little bit. And again, with the cheese and more cream. You just wanna make sure that you finish off with cheese. I remember as a little girl, my dad and I would have date night and he would take me to a place called The Lamplighter. And they served the best steaks to this day that I've ever had. They're no longer in business. And on the side, they served these cheese scalloped potatoes. Y'all, they were always my favorite and they still are. But that was such a special time. Kind of think on the lines of macaroni and cheese, but with potatoes, yum. <laughs> and there we go. It was as easy as that. Now I am gonna place these on a baking sheet because every now and then that cream will bubble over so I don't wanna mess in my oven. Now I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and these are gonna cook for about an hour. You just wanna look for that nice bubbly center. If the cheese starts getting too brown for you, go ahead and tint it with some tin foil and it'll be just fine. Just make sure when you insert a fork, not a knife, but a fork, and you can feel that tenderness all the way through to the bottom, they're ready. And I can hardly wait for that. 
my potatoes are finished and I am so glad that I put these on a baking sheet. Y'all, they did boil over and on a disclaimer, I don't normally make them this thick. I just went ahead and used up the potatoes that I had, but normally you're gonna layer it probably a good two inches thick. This is a little bit more, but that is all right. Now, let's see how we did. Will you look at these? That is perfection right there. <laughs> Y'all, I would say that this would feed four to six people. Now, if you have a huge eater, one of those people that eats for two or maybe three, then you might need more. But goodness, this made a lot of potatoes. I want a cheesy, creamy bite. Mm. Oh, Y'all, this is out of this world good. The potatoes are cheesy and creamy and flavorful. Oh, y'all. I had so many people ask when I recently made a steak in a cast iron skillet. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. People were asking, what do you serve with that? Well, this is what I serve with those steaks. Perfect steakhouse dinner, right in your own home. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you press that like button and share this with your friends and make sure you're following me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I'm glad that I made more than we need because I have a feeling every bit of this is gonna get eaten. I'll see you next time. Bye.